Good morning, guys. It's Monday. We are going to be doing... You guys are sitting on my pillow right now. We're going to be doing an unfiltered day in my life, which means no edits. Not an edit. I'm so tired. I really, 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 really consider just turning off my alarm and rolling over. Because I signed up for a 9.15 workout this morning. But I'm always really happy after a workout. And it's a great start to the day. That's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be taking you guys along my day. No edits. Just me. I just woke up. I turned the lights on. So I like had to wake up a little bit more. <gasps> but um, yeah. So we're going to get up. I hard boiled some eggs last night. Um, so that's going to be my breakfast. Um, yeah. And it's supposed to be like rainy outside right now. Let's, let's check. Let's give it a gander. It's, yes, there are umbrellas out there. That's just the worst. I'm rainy Monday morning. Like, come on, you guys. I'm going to put on my workout outfit. And then, yeah. Oh, also, this video is sponsored by Princess Polly. Thank you guys so much. I just got a ton of new stuff in the mail. So I will be including a little try-on haul. I'll show you guys what I got from Princess Polly because I am literally obsessed. You guys, it's a lot of black. Like, I... I live in New York, we like to wear a lot of black, and it's just so cute and fun. So um, I will have a link down below to their website and all the items mentioned. Um, I typically get a size US 4 or 6 depending on the item. If it's like a dress, I'll get a 4. If it's a skirt or like pants, I'll do a 6 typically. Top is 4 or like a small and a top, medium bottoms, just depends on the sizing. But yeah, I thought I'd mention that because I do appreciate when influencers I follow say their sizes because it's helpful if you're like, oh, we have similar body type, whatever. Um, I find this is probably really true to size, which is really convenient. Um, but yeah, I have a discount code. It's 20 Danielle use it. My friends always text me. They're like, hey, do you have a princess poly code right now? I'm like, here you go. Um, oh, excuse me. I burped, but I can't cut that out because we're doing unedited. Excuse me. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. Also, they ship from within the United States, Princess Polly does. So if you have an order over $50, um, you will get free standard shipping, which is three to six days, which is amazing. They also offer after pay. Um, so we love that. Um, yeah, so this is the first item I got. It's probably my favorite. I mean, it's the dress is dressing. Like it is so I love the cut. I think I did this right. It had like all these different things, so I feel like you could do all kinds of things, but what I just did is wrapped it around a couple times to cinch the waist even more and tied it. You could tie it in the back. Like, it's really, it's customizable, truly. I just, it's so slimming, and I just, you guys know I love a mini dress. I get really excited when there's a slit, because if you're wearing, like, tall boots or something, it's definitely a vibe. I might wear this to the concert I'm going to this week. It's not really a concert outfit, but it's so comfy and, like, cute and, like, ooh. Obsessed. So this is the first item. I stand corrected. This dress? I just put it on and it just fit like a glove. I mean, Princess Polly, you know what you are doing. Like, I need to wear this tomorrow. Like, I will be wearing this this weekend or the next event I go to. Like, you could just wear it with this and you guys know I love a tall boot or even some heels. Or you could make it a little bit more casual and add like a blazer and a belt. This neckline is giving everything it needs to. I love the cap sleeves. Oh my, this is just, uh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Surprise, surprise, another black dress. If I was still in college, I would a thousand percent wear this to a sorority formal, like, hello back. It's so perfectly cut and this material, it's thick. I'm trying to show you guys so you can really, really see. I will just, I want you all to have this dress. There's a slit in the back. This is so perfect. I really hope I get invited to something where I need to wear a long dress soon because this is so cute, like a really fancy dinner. Or if I ever get invited to a movie premiere ever again, which who knows because it's been so long, but that was a really cool moment for me. This 
is what I would wear. I'm loving these dresses, you guys. Okay, I'm obsessed with this outfit. I have been looking for a skirt like this. Actually, Princess Polly was sold out last time and they got it back in stock, so I'm very, very happy. It's this, like, that material skirt. It's almost like a cargo-looking skirt, but it's got ruching on the side. This top is also from Princess Polly. I got this a few months ago, um, but it's just like a plain white tee. Um, this skirt with like a plain white tee or like a black tank, I feel like is such a vibe with, I have like these black and white sneakers I think would look really good. It's casual, but so cute and it's so comfortable because it's like that really cool, um, kind of noisy material. Um, and then this is the back, a lovely slit to keep it flattering and then you can tie with the bow down there. I love this so much and you guys are going to die when I show you the next skirt too. This skirt is also one of my favorites from this haul. It's a similar vibe in the sense it's kind of like that cargo, but it's a different material. This material is very snatchy. I really want to find a blazer that's like the same exact color as this to wear over top because I think that'd be such a vibe with like a little broad top and then a blazer. Um, but I also really like the look of just this white tee with this skirt. Again, there's a slit in the back, so it just gives a little skin, which is nice. I love it. I love the waistline. It literally fits perfectly because I have the little um, adjustable, not adjustable, but you guys know what I mean, like the band in the back. I love this skirt so much. I was waiting to wear it until I showed it in this haul. So now she's going to have her debut in New York City and I'm very, very excited. Okay, I am going to Cabo next week and this ensemble will be coming with me. I'm wearing this black bikini from Princess Polly. It's this really nice ruching material. I love the thick strap or the thick band of the bathing suit and then this cover up. I love it. I actually adore this cut because it's like it highlights your bathing suit in a way but it's not annoying. I don't know because sometimes if it's all up here it's like ah. So it's actually very flattering on the um, collarbones and then the bathing suit underneath. I feel like it's that perfect amount of sheer um, again, we just <laughs> love a black dress. I think this is so hot. It's awesome. Put it like a gold belt over like a gold belly chain moment. Could be cute. Princess Polly, you're crushing it. You really are. They sent me this sweat set and I am so happy they did because I love, first of all, I love this color. It says Princess Polly. It's kind of like university style but then the pants are what i really really love you can wear them on their own too because they don't like cinch at the bottom which i do love and i'm gonna show you guys the sweat set next but i wanted to show this because i really really like the cut of it i like the cut of the sweatshirt and then again the pants and it's so soft this is so comfy like i was gonna record the podcast and the set i'm showing you guys next and i've actually worn the set a couple times i'm obsessed but I'm like, this is a vibe too. So, okay, last thing. Okay, the last thing in this haul is this sweat set. I don't think I've ever gotten a sweat set from Princess Polly because I'm always like, oh, I want all their fun pieces. But this is so perfect for travel. I feel like I'm going to wear this on my way to Cabo um, because I love a hoodie, especially when I'm on a plane. I just feel like I can just hoodie on world out i don't really know but it says out of office which is super cute it's this beautiful navy blue color the sweatpants as well i just for me a good sweat set is when the sweatpants don't like stick to my legs like when i get a size medium and it's actually a size medium and not like leggings like i don't like that i like like a little bit of a bag your sweatpant i feel like a lot of people do so yeah it says out of office here and it's embroidered on the pants which is really fun and then it says it on the back as well it's just, it's a vibe. I can't say enough about it. I really just love all the pieces that I got today. So, yeah, that's the end of the haul. Princess Polly, they're offered on Afterpay, ShopPay. Use my code 20 Danielle. 20 Danielle. I'll be using it. My friends will be using it. So. Okay. Workout outfit is on under protest. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to put on a hoodie. We're going to eat a hard boiled egg or two and uh i kind of want like a little sip of coffee oh my god i forgot the time changed so i need to change my um my clock on my on my toaster my toaster clock i hard boiled at some eggs last night i'm really proud of myself 
Um, I got this little hard boiled egg maker and I am truly obsessed with it. It has this whole little thing. I just boiled four eggs and thank you guys for all the tips. I boiled them and then immediately put them in an the ice bath and it did make it easier to peel them. So just Danielle things. I do believe, I just want like my coffee has a little thing you can do like a little shot. And you guys know I'm pretty much a decaf girl through and through, but that doesn't mean I can't have a shot of decaf coffee. It still does something for me. I know a lot of people don't understand it. I don't really understand it either, but it works for me. And it makes me happy. So, I just love the taste of coffee. I love the act of drinking it, or create making coffee. Um, so... It's just a good start to the day. I'm gonna listen to some music, but I can't in this moment because it'll copyright this vlog. But I just want some calming coffee music and some decaf coffee. Here we go. Just gonna make a little six ounce moment. Boom, baby. It's a gal on the go day. I'm wearing my gal on the go hoodie, my gal on the go mug. <laughs> That's just beautiful right there. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. I planned my week or my day last night before I went to bed because I got back from Nashville last night. And I don't know. Sometimes I like to plan for the next day on Sunday night just to kind of get back to it. Oh, this is going to... Oh, good morning. Oh, my gosh. Um, this is my planner. I actually haven't done this side yet because this is the more motivational side, so I do this in the morning. But on this side, I've got, I planned out my day, all the things I need to do. Um, yeah, we kind of have a ton of random stuff to do today. It's a very gal on the go week. I have two photo shoots this week. I'm such a model. No, I'm kidding. Um, some really exciting stuff. Tomorrow we have a gals on the go branding shoot. So, like, just new photo shoot, new photos for the podcast. And then Friday we have a photo shoot for something really exciting like the Gals and the Go are doing. And if you didn't know, Gals and the Go is a podcast I have with my best friend, Brooke. But anyways, I'm gonna sit here and basically do this side of my planner. This is a planner I designed doing all daily. Do my affirmations, my goals for the day. Trace the quote, which today is, never let a toxic person mess with your mind. True. And then what I'm doing for wellness, nourishment, all my meals, I'm going to write down so I eat well today. It's going to be a good start to the week. All right, time to pack the tote. I just had two hard-boiled eggs. Got my water bottle. I'm really proud of myself. I unpacked last night, which just is a good setup. For the rest of the week, headphones, lip balm that I should put on right now. Uh, this workout's fun too because it's every Monday at my gym and usually Kit and Serena go. So it's like motivation. You're like, okay, I'm going to know someone there. And we all texted last night so that we were going. So it's like accountability to go. Um, oh, while I was in Nashville, I got another match for my matchbox. It's always very exciting. All right, here is the jacket I'm going to wear. I'm just going to wear a long black puffer because it's raining, but I don't really want to hold an umbrella. <laughs> Random, I know. But this one has a hood, and it's obviously, like, water resistant or whatever, so... We are going to take on cold NYC together. It's March. I'm like, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for some warmth, you know? This is me my vlog. Good morning. All right. We are home. Workout was good. The rain was just so unmotivating. I'm going to try this. This is the Remedy Organics Cacao Essentials. It's like a protein shake. It has almond milk, cacao, dates, ashwagandha, maca, and prebiotics. My stomach feels a little funky right now. So I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. 
but I'm like hungry. Yummy. Okay, we'll take it. Let's go. Okay, I just did a little slick back. I'm gonna wear this set for the podcast. Um, I'm like super overexposed right now. <laughs> Pictures, please. Um, I'm not wearing makeup because I'm not wearing makeup. So we are going to, oh my gosh, that literally scared me. That was my Uber Eats because I haven't had time to get groceries yet since I've been away. Um, so I got dig. It used to be called dig in. And I think dig in's way better because it's like, oh, I'm getting dig. Like it feels like an unfinished sentence. This is the Anastasia brow freeze. And I just take a spoolie, rub it on my hand. And then, yeah, we are brushing up those brows. Um, but yeah, that's my lunch. Brooke will be here soon. I'm so excited to see her and just catch up and mustard. But yeah, like look how much it snatches your brows. I just love a no makeup day. I'm so here for it. I've been really into, I posted this on my Instagram story, but I've been really into just doing my brows. I mean, I've done this for like a year now, but like I'm realizing how much I love it is just doing my brows and um, putting on like a glowy serum, or in this case today, I'm gonna put on some glow screen, even though I don't plan on being outside much today, because, well, glow screen, it's golden hour, so it just gives you a little bit of a golden glow, and my spray tan's just not really on my face anymore, um, and yeah. So, but I just love that glowy look with like jewelry and like some skims, like some loungewear. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna, I just sprayed on some of this Caudalie Beauty Elixir, but I'm gonna put on some of this Golden Hours, so see how it's tinted. But it rubs in really sheer, but it gives your face some color. Oh my gosh, it just smells like summer. Like I wore this all last summer, like in New York, in Montauk, in Florida, I, I'm i such a nostalgic person and scents definitely fall into that category. So it just gives your face some color. And my neck is tanner, so it's perfect. Um, so when I smell sunscreen, like I actually really like the smell. It smells, like obviously because I grew up in Florida too, I feel like that's why it just smells like home. I should not have just put that on my eyelids. Um, it smells like home, it smells like vacation, it smells like happiness, really. I know a lot of people probably would not agree with my sentiment, but to each his own, right? So, yeah, it just brings a little color back to my face, and yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some earrings in, you know, the whole earrings and hoodie look. I'm very into that. I'm gonna pick up my food from the doorway he just left it at the door need to wash my hands as well these are all things i can do without vlogging sorry the final look i just put on these earrings like it's some sort of revolutionary thing but you guys know what i mean you know it's exciting when you just can wear this and you feel good time for some lunch here's my lunch i get dig i got half greens half rice as the base chicken their mac and cheese is just so good like i just need it and the broccoli Dig in, literally. All right, ate my lunch, and now I'm setting up for the podcast. I got these lights, and they are the best thing ever. They're obviously not on right now, but I do love them. Brooke and I have a quick meeting beforehand on Zoom, so we figured we'd do it together before we record. Um, so I <laughs> tempted to set these two chairs up for us to sit at, so hopefully that'll work out. But yeah, that's what's going on here. Okay, Brooke and I are Hello. setting up to record places, people. <laughs> We're going on in five, five four, three, two. two. I know. You yes. see, I'm so glad we were both on that yeah, live. I was like, I was we singing the same song when you did the countdown. I knew it was coming. Oh yeah, was, like Freddie on the camera. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> And then silence on the one. Um, yeah, Brooke and I were both in our sweatsets about to record. We had a great call. The lighting's really weird because I'm like, here, hey guys. Um, oh, there's an orb. Hello. Um, so yeah, 
Nothing much to say here. Yeah, oh, hello. <laughs> hello. I zoomed in on Brooke because the lighting's better on her right now. But oh, thank you. Well, I'm in my places, people. Um, and yeah. <laughs> in her director we're, we're, era. Yeah. I will never not say era. People are like, can you stop putting era after everything? No. I know I get it. It's, it's so it's fun. Problem. I catch myself and I like sometimes I have the thought of like maybe it's a little cringe, but I, it's like a virus. Like I can't stop. It's a yeah. virus. The new thing I've been saying is um. Like, I saw, like, Shannon put on her story today, like, my house is housing. Like, well, your oh, sweat set is sweat Gals setting. are galling. Yeah, true. Yeah. We have been, we've been saying it for a while. The gals are galling. It's just, like, funny. Like Yeah, I love that. Like, your yeah. dress is dressing. Yes. Yes. That might be the new yes, thing. Yes, I like it. I like it for us. So, we're going to record. It's going to be fun. Go listen to Gals in the Go podcast. Give us a rate and review. Um, trying to get on those charts, baby. I know, because... Uh, Apparently we have a lot of listeners, but like we never really know. We'll never really know because no, podcasting such a weird hidden world. It is, yeah. So help us out, please. Help boost us, get us up, guys. Boost <laughs> us. All right, see you guys. All right, Brooke left. We're about to go run some errands, but I want to show you guys something I did earlier, right before she got here. I put this thing in this corner, and I'm so excited. It's this armoire that I got from Anthropology. They did this really special delivery for me last week. It was so cool. There were dresses. And shoes and all the things in here and it's an anthropology piece it's gorgeous and i actually have black and here i have black curtain rods i guys that's a whole other story that is the chair if you will and that chair will be clean tonight mark my words but i toyed around with the idea of like where this would go if it would go in my kitchen and like store extra things but i really like it in this corner because i didn't i was like stuffing my belts in the back of my closet and i've been wearing belts a lot more so i wanted to like see them all and there's this really cool rod on here so i was like oh i can hang my belts I have a ton more hats, but these are like the three hats I've been wearing a lot. Um, and I always forget that I have hats because I have them in my coat closet. So I was like, this is a really cool way to present. I don't know what to put in these drawers. Comment down below what I should put. I could put more jewelry in here, I guess. But they're like really low drawers. So I don't know. It'd have to be something I don't use as much. I don't know. But I definitely want to utilize this. Like maybe even put more things with the belts. But this definitely looks good so i'm really happy with it the only thing is when i open my closet door you know it's not as much of a wide swing but it's really easy to push so if i needed to also guys i literally was today years old literally this morning when i realized my closet has a light do you know how many times i've been in here and i had to bring a flashlight at night like how did i not oh because it's over there i never saw it and i and literally the other day my friend was here and she's like you don't have a light in here i was like no like i make it work i literally have a light <laughs> so that's huge for the program that was an exciting moment need to organize this closet i need oh my gosh these are all clean clothes over here that i literally folded and now they're just not folded it was like Late at night, I was folding laundry, watching TV, and then I got so tired, I was like, well, I have to sleep on my bed. I can't put my clothes on my bed, so I put it on the chair, and that's what's dangerous. Like, it's growing. Brooke was Brooke was literally like, I thought my room was messy. I was like, I know. Like, what's happening? But everything else is pretty clean. So, anyways, we are going to go run some errands. Um, it's not, like, an ideal errand day, but I just, like, need to get outside. I obviously was outside earlier to go to the gym, but I'm like in need of starving fresh air. And it's so weird because the clock went forward an hour. So it's like still pretty bright. Like it's 4.30 right now. But usually like in the winter it's like starting to get dark. But it's like still like definitely the daytime still. So I'm way more motivated honestly. So we have a couple places we're going to go. We're going to stop by. Well, I'm trying to think of the order of events. Order of events we're going to Sephora first. That's the fun errand. Um, do you ever like go around errands and you're like okay why well, have to do like one fun errand in there? Yeah. So, well, these are all fun things, but um, when I got my makeup done in Orlando, the makeup artist used, like, you know how Alex Earl does the white eyeliner? I always thought it was, like, really intense looking on me, and she did, like, a nude liner on me, on my waterline, and I lo it made my eyes look so big and bright and awake. So I asked her, and it was the Makeup Forever, I think it's called Boundless Bisque. So I'm going to go buy that right now. I hope they have it, because Sephora, I feel like, is sold out of a lot of things sometimes. And let's be real, I'm probably not going to leave it just that. If they have the new Golden Hour, or if they have the new Super Goop Glow Screen Shades, because they have more shades, like Golden Hour is kind of dark, as you saw, I had to really blend it. Now they have more tones, which is really cool. So I might see if they have that. Um, but yeah, that's all I really need. But you never know. Sephora is so fun. And then I have some things that I got altered, which I'm really proud of myself, because I'm so lazy when it comes to stuff like that. Two things for our Gals in the Go um, photo shoot we're doing tomorrow. So I need to go get those today. They were done today. 
and then I need to get my toes done. But I don't, I have time to do a pedicure, but I have like spray tan on my legs and I'm wearing like a short dress tomorrow. So I might just get a color change, which is always, you know, it's like they literally just take the nail polish off and then do a new color. It's not as relaxing, if you will, but I think that's what I need to do because I don't want them to like scrub this, you know, when they do like the exfoliating and all the things and I just don't need there to be like a lighter skin tone under like near my ankles if that makes sense so that's what we're gonna go do put on my jacket wearing my sweatsuit maybe get a fun little decaf beverage of some sort or kombucha that sounds nice put on my headphones i don't know let's just go have a main character moment on the mood i feel like haven't been in new york in like a week so i need to like go be in new york i'm being so random right now that's what you get in these unedited videos All right, we're back. Little Sephora haul. I This is a repurchase, the Skin Fix Barrier Cream. Um, I'm just really into protecting your barrier. I just actually got a Kiehl's one, but this one I just like how you press it and it pumps out and it's very like antibacterial, whatever. So I thought this would be good um, at night before I go to bed. The other barrier cream I use, it's like when I'm like going out for the day and I just need something on my skin to like protect the barrier, whatever. This is a good night one. Got this mini Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Spray. I really want to try it out again because I used, I think it was Kelly's in Miami. And I was like, wait, this actually works. And we're going to Cabo next week. And it's hot and humid. So I was like, this will be perfect. It's travel size. Got a new beauty blender because, you know, you got to repurchase them every now and then. Got the product I was there for, which is the Makeup Forever um, Artist Color Pencil in the color Boundless Bisque. So we're going to try that out later this week and I will show you guys because I'm really excited and then I got the color wow dream coat this is the mini one because I want to try it out I've heard it's really great to spray on your hair before you style it and like if it's wet um and it like makes your hair look super sleek and I know Cabo is really humid so I thought this would be good to try all right we're about to go get my nails done but I'm gonna make myself a yummy cafe con leche so I'm gonna froth the milk and everything obviously a decaf but for some reason decaf still wakes me up i do not know how to explain it this is our podcast network these little cups they gave us i think it was for christmas which was really sweet um and it'll keep it nice and hot while i'm there i'm gonna do 10 ounces i guess yeah i never really know all right step one brew the coffee step two while it's brewing i'm just gonna fill up with milk here and it doesn't froth and make the coffee at the same time so I have to wait for the coffee to be done but it'll like light up and tell me it's ready to go all right milk is done frothing oh my gosh the froth is frothing except I need to use a spoon I always I need to like figure out the best way it's because like when you pour it it's not as frothy but then see like there's the froth. Oh my good god. That right there is sexy. That's beautiful. It's stunning. Wow. I'll do a little more. I don't know. I could probably pour a little. And I think it's warm. Yeah. It's warm. That's why it takes a while. It warms up the milk so it doesn't make your coffee cold. Oh, I love it. Cafe con leche. Taking it to the nail salon. We're going to get a color change on our toes. Ooh, just got back. I am, I am obsessed with the Spotify AI DJ thing. You can, if you go to your Spotify homepage and click the top left where it says music, and then it should offer a Spotify AI DJ. Apparently they're not doing it for every account. They're just like trying it as beta, but I happen to have it. Ryan had it. Um, I am obsessed. You literally just press DJ and it's like an AI. It's like, hey, I'm DJ X, what's up? And he's like, today we're gonna do a little Justin Bieber and Nicki Minaj. Like it's so fun and it's just, and it's based off of your music listening history. So like it gave me a little country, but then he was like, this is a, a new singer from Ontario. Like, I don't know, it was just, 
I'm obsessed. So whenever I don't know what to listen to, that's what I do. So got a pedicure. I ended up getting a pedicure. I didn't even think about it. I could get a pedicure without doing the scrub. Duh. And it was so lovely. And I ended up doing a longer foot massage. And it, I, it's really hard for me to relax in massages. But foot massages hit different. <laughs> And it was so lovely and it was much needed. And then I went to the grocery store and I got stuff to make dinner tonight. Tonight I'm going to be making, there's this um, girl on Instagram who I went on a Revolve trip with. Her name is Kate Davis. K-A-I-T Davis. Um, and I literally bought her ebook today. It's called Salads Don't Suck because I really am just trying to find new meals. And she posted this one on her Instagram story and she was like, it's in my ebook and it looked so good. It's called like a burger salad. I forget exactly what it's called. But it's basically like a cheeseburger salad. And I don't know why I've been craving like a burger. So it's iceberg lettuce, chopped up tomatoes or sliced, yeah, tomatoes, red or white onion. I'm in my red onion era, as we know. Cheese and then ground beef. So I'm going to make that for dinner tonight. I think that sounds lovely. She also mentioned the Creole seasoning. Creole, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But it's basically a combination of salt, paprika, red pepper, garlic, and onion. I thought it wasn't spicy, but this says hot, and I literally Googled in the store, and it says usually Creole seasoning is not super spicy, so I'm going to try it before I, like, put it all over my um, beef, but I also could be wrong. This could have been from one of her other salads, but it, but I just bought it either way because I was like, this is a good seasoning to have, and then she uses, like, salad dressing, but I don't use lots of salad dressing, so I'm just going to do olive oil, and then I think I'm going to infuse this, um, ketchup it's from primal kitchen and i adore it um because she basically made a dressing with ketchup mayonnaise which i don't like mayonnaise and one other s s sauce thing so i don't know but it might be kind of random just put i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but that's that recipe so that's all those groceries over here i tried to get a lot of veggies and fruits my dad said it's very important to just get a ton of color when you're getting groceries just lots of different colors so we got some mini cucumbers to eat with of course my favorite red pepper hummus from cedars i got two of them um what else i forgot i'm editing this i'm not editing this so i'm like taking all my breaths and all the things but that's real um cauliflower and broccoli this will be like my dinner tomorrow i didn't get a meat because i couldn't decide so i might i might have some like chickpea pasta or something in my cabinet so i might just do that with the i don't know i just it looked really juicy and yummy so i want to make that tomorrow for dinner i bought some i'm trying to i think i'm gonna make overnight oats again tonight before i go to bed and a lot of people said i should add cinnamon and also vanilla yogurt as a way to make it a little bit sweeter. And so then I also bought berries and strawberries to put in my overnight oats. Avocados, that's pretty self-explanatory. Bread, some apples. I've got my produce bowl. Ooh, I've got produce. I love me some produce. And then turkey, more hummus, and eggs. And that, my friends, is my grocery haul. I'm going to put all this away and then get to cooking. Okay, I also got this really cute tissue holder because Clara Purse posted about it it's from Amazon and I was like, I need it. And then when I got it in the mail, I was like, it's for a rectangle one, but this just simply doesn't fit. So I texted Clara, I was like, bro, what, 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 what? And she said, you're supposed to take it out of the box. So I just went and bought some tissues at the store too. And then they're able to fit, question mark. I hope I bought the right size. I'm gonna like drop this. That'll be really fun. But I don't know. I find like people will ask if I have a tissue. Like it's just good to have tissues. Um, and I was I hate the way the boxes look. So I was like, maybe I should put them all in at once. Maybe that is what I should do. So I got this from Amazon, and I hopefully really like it. That was a struggle there for a second. Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Okay, might have to shoot. I don't want to waste these. <laughs> okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, yay! Love, this is usually where I keep my um, tissues, so that works out oh so lovely. I think it looks really cute. I still need to like, this always stresses me out. This is like organized. I don't know. That's a later problem, but thank you, Clara, for the wreck. I love it. It's cute. It, obvious, it probably would look cuter. I know she has it on her nightstand. My nightstands, as we all know, are like this big. But this is where I go to grab a tissue. 
So that's where it's gonna be. And then I'll just put these in my like laundry thing to store and then I can refill it. Okay, big updates over here. So cooked the beef and I ended up just adding a little bit of ketchup literally to the beef, which it literally smells like a burger. And then I added just a little bit of this because it was a little spicy, but I do think it'll change the game. Chopped up tomatoes and then I put a big bowl of lettuce in here just so it's easier to eat. I hate when you're trying to eat salad and like spilling over. And then I sliced up a ton of red onions. Um, and I'm obviously not gonna use all of these in the salad. This is, I think, like a decent amount of lettuce. I don't even know what order of events I should do. I guess I could do the beef first. I don't really know. She didn't, I, or maybe, I think she did say do the meat first. So I'm not planning on putting all the meat in. Um, hopefully I'll be able to eat more of this tomorrow. Actually, I am using all of the lettuce, so good job, Danielle. Okay, so we've got the meat. I hope this is good because this will be very exciting. And then bring you guys over here. Um, we'll do the tomatoes. I don't know why I'm making new names for everything. Yum, juicy. And then red onions are like strong, so I don't want to add too many. Also, I was really crying during this. It was a very difficult moment. Oh, and then the cheese. I don't usually, well actually on a Caesar salad I like cheese because I don't use Caesar dressing so the cheese adds something for it. But I don't usually use like this kind of cheese but it's like, ch it's like you know, shredded cheddar but that's what she used and that definitely makes sense for like a burger salad. Oh my god, who is she? I am so hungry by the way. And then we'll go crazy. Here I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. Look how delicioso. And we'll do the whole like, you're at a place and they're mixing your salad for you. Oh my God, I hope this is good because that would be so exciting. Because I feel like it's the perfect amount of everything. I always am trying to find filling meals that have some nutrition to them. Protein, I'm trying to like eat more protein. Um, all right, let's, let's see. All right, the moment of truth. I want to get a little bite of everything here. Some, some beef, some tomato, some cheese. Wow. It tastes like a burger. It's basically a deconstructed burger. And I will be thoroughly enjoying the rest of this. Wow, good job. It, the salad was so good. I'm like so full, which is honestly, I like to feel full after a meal. I don't want to still feel hungry. So it was perfect. Oh my God, it was amazing. I'm about to do some self tanning because I still have my spray tan from last week when I went to Nashville, but we have a big Gals in the Go photo shoot tomorrow and I want to make sure my chest is really tan, my arms and my legs, um, and I'll basically my whole body. I'm just going to do a little refresh. Um, I'm going to use this Tan Lux Express Mousse with the mitt. And yeah, it's great to touch up. I love tan lux, as you guys know. So, and then I'm gonna use the tan lux drops on my face. They're in there somewhere. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we are going to clean my apartment. Well, mainly that chair while the spray tan or the tan dries. And then watch a little Nashville and go to bed. So. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun making it. I love doing unedited vlogs. It allows me to just do, I don't know, just say whatever. So I know you guys usually like when I do these, so hopefully that was the vibe today. Um, link down below to Princess Polly. My code is 20Danielle. And I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Subscribe down below. Bye, guys.